Hi, good evening. I'm going to be talking right now about the syllabus and the requirements for the class for this semester. Um, I just want to give you an overview of what we're going to be doing in the semester. And every week we're going to go over detailed uh, what's due that week, what projects we have, what readings we have. For example, tomorrow I'm going to give you a mini kind of lecture on symbolic interaction one of the readings that we're doing and of that general theme and also an overview of chapter one of the textbook but tonight let's just talk about what's required in the class because I could see from meeting some students and I tried to be very comprehensive with the syllabus but I think at the same time maybe it's a little bit overwhelming and it might be easier to just speak about it so generally um, the requirements of a class are going to be are set forth for it by week so you see every week what we're going to be doing and what's due and um, this week for example we have to work on the who am i project that's one of the individual projects and that's when we have to talk about some characteristics that define us as a person and seven to ten characteristics and then the point of this project is that we should think about whatever these characteristics are how do they relate to us as people who are consumers also, right? Because we live in a consumer-oriented society, right? Where everything is connected somehow to the marketplace, it seems, or almost everything. So let's say that we say that we are an athletic person. So being athletic is going to have some ramifications in the marketplace. So perhaps we um, subscribe to ESPN, right? Or we... Um, buy tickets or we try to but we'd like to buy tickets to the US Open or we try to bid for them on eBay or maybe we buy Nike products because we like to play basketball so those are things that are going to be related to shopping and to purchasing and to market behaviors so this is an exam one example so you have to think about who you are as a person and then how does that affect you in the marketplace that's one assignment and then also for an individual assignment, we're going to start working on these luxury projects. And so what we're going to be doing during the semester, we have two major projects. And one has to do with luxury, luxury websites to be specific. We're going to choose between five brands to study, Prada, Louis Vuitton, Burberry, um, what is the other? Gucci, and uh, Chanel. So these are the five choices that we have. And we're going to look at how well the brands are doing in terms of their website. And in, in connection to the website also, their kind of social media activities, Facebook, Twitter, do they have apps? Are they kind of mobile types of marketing or commerce are they doing? So those are, the, those are some of the things we're going to look at, how effective they are in that realm. So we don't have to go visit the stores. We're not going to have to go and look at the products in person. We're going to have to only look at how the websites are presenting the products and how well the websites are doing in terms of customer service, how easy they are to navigate, the technological um, aspects about the websites. So it's going to start out as an individual project. So you're going to think about right now which brand you'd like to study. And then I'm going to have you put into groups based on the brand. So some people who are studying Prada, you put like four or five people together, um, for instance. And then in that group, in that Prada group that you'll be in, I'm going to create um, groups on Blackboard. So you're going to be able to have discussion board to communicate personally with each other in that way. You can also communicate email, Skype, Google Documents. There's other ways of collaborating without even meeting in person. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have finally a group project which is going to culminate in a five minute presentation that's going to be graded by me and going to be graded by the class. So you're going to have to figure out how to put that together. Is it going to be a video? Is it going to be one person doing the video presenting all the results? Is it going to be um, individual each doing a minute kind of one talking about customer service, one talking about um, the technology of the website, one talking about social media, one talking about, um, you know, what kinds of suggestions um, one has for the brand for improving it. 
So that's going to be one possibility. And then like maybe putting these all together into one coherent video. Another possibility might be doing a PowerPoint and maybe having photographs, maybe like doing snapshots of the website that you're going to discuss where there are going to be problem issues that can be improved upon. So that is the luxury project. And again, on the syllabus, there are more details about how that has to be carried out, how many points for each different assignment. The next major project is going to be a Brooklyn based business, choosing a business and analyzing the business, uh, particularly in terms of marketing. Um, you're going you're gonna to decide on the focus. Is it going to be more based on maybe customer service? Is it going to be more based on maybe how the business can improve its appearance and it's kind of, um, you know, how inviting it is to people. For example, um, there are some businesses that we can see in Brooklyn, right, that near Brooklyn College that are not really very, you know, the, the display windows haven't been changed in 10 years. Like there are a couple of, um, you know, these like kind of 99 cent stores where they've got old stuff in the windows, old t telephones and things that they're not even any longer selling. Um, laundry detergent, boxes that are, you know, the colors have been faded out. Okay, so that's a problem of aesthetics and presentation and display. So maybe that might become a focus that the business is really not appealing. It's not, you know, it's not a place that people feel interested in entering or that doesn't give an experience that's very enjoyable to the consumer. And maybe you might want to focus on how the business can, what the business can do to be, to be more inviting. Um, or maybe you may want to have one person in the group focus on that, another person focusing on customer service. So that's going to be another project. And you're going to also do a video or a PowerPoint type of presentation that's going to be viewable by everyone in class and graded by everyone in class. So we'll talk more in detail about those projects as we get closer to the time. But basically, um, we have quizzes every week. This week we don't have a quiz, but next week we start with the quizzes. The quizzes are going to be 10 questions, each worth 5 points. Each quiz is worth a total of 5 points, that is. They're going to be put up on Monday. They're going to be available from Monday to Friday and until midnight. And you're going to have, once you start the quiz, you have half an hour to complete it. So if you have any problem, if you run into any difficulty where you get logged off or something happens because you can't really go on and off. Once you start, you've got the 30 minutes. But if something happens, contact me, let me know about it, and we can work it out. So you have a whole week where all those things can happen. But don't say at the end of the semester, oh, I missed quiz one or I had something happened in quiz two, some technical problem. Let me know right away. So we've got the quizzes, right? We have the student introduction that you should be thinking about doing, just like I've done on, you know, plus putting it up on YouTube. You're going to do the same thing. And I was hoping if um, people agree that I would make all the introductions available so that, you know, we're in an online course, we're never seeing each other, meeting each other, possibly for the exception of the people that we work with in the group. But it might be nice to have all the links and to place the have a document on Blackboard where people in the class can see other people in the class just like we would if we were in a classroom introducing ourselves. So we'll see about that, how that works. But let's let's work on getting those introductions in by February 10th. If you need more time for the introductions, a couple of more days, it's fine. But let's get the Who Am I project in. Um, start working on the video introduction, decide about your luxury project, which brand you want to study, um, do the readings for symbolic interaction for chapter one. For um, the first lecture, you can look at the notes. I put up notes from last semester, so under lecture notes, but I have to update them because I know the dates of when projects are due and things are reflective of last semester, so I haven't updated that, so I'll go back um, and do that sometime later tomorrow. And then for next week, we're going to be starting with the quiz for chapter one. And we're, all, we're also going to be handing in all those assignments that we have. Um, the week after, February 13th to February 17th, we have a couple of um, other readings. But every week, the quiz is going to be based on, except for next week, when the quiz is going to have some questions about symbolic interaction from that reading. After this, the quizzes are going to be based on the textbook. 
So they're really not going to be based on the extra readings that we have to do, only on the textbook. So next week we'll talk in more detail about the projects as they are due next week. And tomorrow I will post a video introducing you to the concept of symbolic interaction and also to the first chapter. So thank you for watching and I will continue tomorrow. Thanks a lot.